demonstrated the obsolete technology, little handheld remotes that the CIA used back in the 1950s where they could put thoughts uh, directly into a, per a target's mind. By the way, the uh, they, they, they had said Ted Stevens was beating his brother, uh, but it looks like uh, Senator Stevens is going to be Senator Stevens. Looks like he's beating, uh, that's the Nick Beggage's brother, uh, yes. Mark Beggage. So it looks like he's winning right now in that highly contested Senate race. Just a program note, uh, but you're absolutely right. Uh, they've suppressed a lot of technologies. Any, uh, anything else uh, you wanted to uh, add there? Caller? Yes, one more thing, and this is really important. The powers of observation for everybody are critical, not just in terms of the political, geopolitical situation. I mean, we, we, we really have to use our minds. But um, in observing nature every day, if you really pay attention, you will see things you've never seen before. Um, we had a period of six weeks. I, li I live in a small mountain village in northern New Mexico where we have farming and ranching. There was a period of about six weeks or more where things stopped growing literally stopped growing. Uh, flowers didn't bloom. Uh, crops that had been planted weren't, weren't, weren't getting any bigger. And when I noticed it myself, with regard to my, my, my indoor plants and my outdoor flowers and so forth, these are plants that are potted, mind you, not even in the ground. I pointed yeah, out everything these elites do is about playing God. Total, okay, total about matrix dominance, total, uh, you know, I mean, they have all these terms, but go ahead. Full spectrum dominance. Well, this went on for weeks and weeks and weeks. They weren't dying, but they weren't flourishing. They weren't growing. So when I talked to local people, local farmers about it, they said, yes, they had, they had observed the same thing. They didn't know what was going on. I posted it on a message board that, that goes out across the country, and people posted the same thing. They said, yes, we noticed it was very strange. So what if, I mean, it's a what if. What if this energy that they're manipulating could be used to stop things from growing? It no, it could be used more... to kill you. So, of course, exactly. of course but, but listen, two billion bees, or close to 80% of them in England, just drop dead. They're dropping dead everywhere. Other animals are dropping dead. Whole bird species are dying. Meanwhile, they, the globalists dance around going, it's for the earth, for the earth, when really they want to destroy the earth and rebuild it in their image, playing God. Alan Watt is our guest. Uh, again, we'll be right back for everybody on the AM and FM dial. We're going to be taking some more calls. So I want to get to everybody uh, here on the Infowars.com streams only during this break. Uh, you know, I, I joke around about all this because I, it, it would be too stressful if, if I didn't. But this is all very serious, and it's all very, very painful to admit that we've gotten to this point. Okay, Alan, let's uh, take another call. Very interesting call from uh, Donna in New Mexico. Uh, your comments to what she was just saying. And she's right on. Uh, even here in Canada, uh, where I am here, this is the blueberry area for uh, this, this country, and they literally didn't get enough sunlight this year. It, it rained every single day, June and July. Heavy, heavy spring. Uh, this is the global dimming they, they talk about at, the, at NASA. And of course, they're calling Yeah, NASA the brags. Dimming. They've dimmed the earth by 20%. That's BBC report. Uh, yes. And they admit they're chemtrailing, but it's only on university sites, and then no uh, news will touch it. Uh, that is correct. Uh, and also, uh, that there's no birds here. There's just no birds. They were, I can walk through the forest here, and there's not a single bird. The moles are coming out of the ground and dying. And I've noticed quite a few of them this last couple of months. So uh, they're being poisoned by the stuff that's coming down in the spray as well. God, they're just slaughtering us. And then they're going to say it's a global economic uh, environmental crisis and then say that you know, we've all got to be enslaved uh, to mm -hmm. stop it. Yeah, and they blame us for doing it and, and getting us to believe it. <laughs> it's a brilliant strategy. Yeah. All you've got to do is just be completely ruthless, it's, and it's a brilliant mm -hmm. strategy. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Rico in Toronto. Rico, you're on the air. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh -huh. Alan, I have to say I really respect your work. Um, so, uh, Alex, too, of course. Uh, so I just want to say that off the bat. Um, second, uh, the other thing I want to say also is, Alex, I'm sure you probably didn't get a chance to, to catch James Bond, the new movie uh, that came out Friday. No, but every James Bond has all these pro-New World Order brainwashing uh, messages. Uh, what's the latest brainwashing? Oh, Alex, this baby is crazy. Okay, there's a scene where they go into um, a movie theater, like he's in a movie, not a movie theater, I'm sorry, a, a theater, where all the, um, the shadow elite group is, like, communicating in the theater itself. There's a giant eye that opens up, and it's all Catholic priests. 
Then at the bottom of it, of the, the altar, if you will, there's a bunch of people who are being dragged as prisoners to basically the eye, like in front. Then there's, there's a woman that comes up with a knife, and she's basically sacrificing this guy that's tied up to the eye and to the, basically the whole altar. I was like, my God, propaganda, propaganda. Propaganda. So they're just throwing Illuminati, uh, Catholic, uh, the, the, the Catholic Church is the Illuminati, human sacrifice? Yes, and it's like basically it's like the, the, the goddess Gaia, she's sacrificing to the eye. Then after that you have, um, he basically, like the whole movie is about a war for the, the resources. Uh, the shadow group makes the, the government a dictator that they're, they're putting back in. Uh, sell them the water rights to basically like the whole country. But let me and guess that the MI6 James Bond is going to save us? Yes. He, he basically he goes like he's not with it. The Americans are with it. The CIA section chief is with it. Well, let me just say this. I mean, obviously the Vatican's corrupt in New World Order. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even Catholic. But, but the, I am seeing major pushes to make it only about it being a Catholic conspiracy in the media, but then meanwhile the new Da Vinci Code movie, Angels and Devils, is about the Catholic Church being the good guys and it being an Anglo-American Merovingian. Uh, yeah. Alan Watt, uh, let, let's come back out of break and get your comment on this. Okay, uh, behind the scenes there we were talking to Rico in Toronto. He went and saw the new James Bond movie. Uh, no, I uh, didn't go see it. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm dealing with all the admitted world government being set up in front of me. They talked about how it's like Catholic priests doing human sacrifice to the Illuminati in the movie. And I've got some emails about it. I haven't seen it myself yet. Uh, but uh, so on that side, it's saying it's a Catholic conspiracy. But then you have the new Angels and Devils uh, coming out uh, with, uh, you know, all these big actors like Tom Hanks, where it's the Catholics fighting the Illuminati. And, and, and I can tell you what that is. That's about making it factionalized or divide and conquer, where now people will fight about which group is it really when the New World Order controls both groups. Uh, correct, Alan Watt? Uh, absolutely. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Even Malachi Martin, who was a Jesuit priest, said that the Vatican had been totally taken over and is now run by Freemasons. And these are the same Freemasons that run the Protestant sides as well. Uh, it's the same Freemasons that go over and get knighted by the royalty. That's one of their high ambitions, of course, if you serve the great work. And see, let's be clear. We're not having a debate about the Catholic Church pushing world government. The last two popes have called for it. We're not debating that. We're just stating the facts of what it is today. And uh, for some reason, groups out of Israel fund the idea that if you don't only talk about Catholics being the source of all evil, that you are in their employ. And, I've, I mean, that's just massive disinfo. Uh, that's right. Even though in Israel itself there is a, a Masonic Lodge there, uh, where some of the Muslim leaders uh, attend, uh, along with the Jewish leaders and, and leaders from the Western world. There's been articles in the paper here from uh, a Jewish leader in Toronto with his regalia on, his Masonic regalia, going off to that particular lodge representing Canada. So you understand, uh, they used to say that ISIS had a thousand faces. Well, you see, this is the organization with a thousand faces and fronts. Uh, there are a thousand points of light. And the Masons are only one more of those fronts. Uh, yes, there, there, there's blue, there's royal arch, but they all take their orders from the, the, the English lodge. That's where they get their charters from. Just like all royalty gets its charter from there. Yes, and the Duke of Kent uh, traditionally is the head of, uh, of uh, the York Rite of Freemasonry that runs the whole show. All right. Rico, does, uh, you, do you agree with those statements? Um. I, I do, I do. Like it's, it's definitely. But it, it was just, it, it was crazy because they were showing you like it's a, it's a cabal of all industrialists. But, well, but, but, but the British are good, and they're going to save us from the cabal, right? Well, they were wanted to go along with it, but supposedly James Bond did not want to go along with it. Then after that, but, but it's, it's like it leaves you with like, okay, this shadow group is still out there. Uh, they're still doing what they're doing, and. Yeah, and, and the minister even goes out right. of way to say we're we'll running see out of resources. So we've got to go ahead and do what the shadow group wants. I appreciate your call. 
uh, that's throwing it in your face, and we're seeing that everywhere, Alan. Explain to people what predictive programming 